All right, welcome back you guys today for another video. Today we are going to be doing my eyeshadow palette <laughs> declutter. Yeah, um, eyeshadow palettes are kind of stressing me out because I love eyeshadow a lot, but the truth is I don't really have time <laughs> to do a lot of eyeshadow anymore and I am not really going places anymore where I'm wearing um really fun and crazy eyeshadow looks and it's like if you want to do that like absolutely go ahead and do it you know like it's not it's not about anyone else this is about me and my collection and how I use makeup yeah I just want to say that before we jump in because it's gonna be really hard to get rid of some of these I know and also like one because they're really expensive and two because I am trying to move towards a more like cleaner and less toxic lifestyle and there are a lot of additives and synthetics and even natural things in makeup products that are heavily unregulated and are often contaminated with things like talc is very commonly contaminated with asbestos and I don't really want to put that on my body um uh I really want to do a video talking about more why we're moving in this direction as family, but anyways, probably enough of me rambling. Um, I just wanted to say that before I jump into this, but yeah, let's just dive in. So the first thing I have here that I know I'm going to be keeping is this little Era Perez eyeshadow palette. This is a clean beauty brand. Um, they don't use talc in their products or um, known preservatives that cause irritation and stuff like that. Um, and it's also really cool because these pans pop out and you can just repurchase the individual pan. So that's cool. This is the only palette I have from them currently. And it's the Chamomile Eye Palette in the shade Gorgeous. And it's very basic, very simple. Um, as you can tell. Yes, you're balanced on toilet paper. But um, I really like this palette and it suits my needs right now. So I'm going to be keeping this. Um, I'm also going to keep my Natasha Denona uh, mini nude palette. Um, I possibly shouldn't, but I really like this palette. And I am going to keep using it for now. Um, okay. I'm also going to keep the Lawless, the baby one palette. Because this brand does try to be cleaner. And I believe these are not formulated with talc. So I am going to keep this. Um, the thing is that these are not, like, my number one shades, and this isn't, like, the best brand available. Um, but I am going to keep this for now, um, and I'll reevaluate in the future, but I also like that it's mini. So, so far we're keeping those three. Um, I know, let's talk about Pot McGrath. So, for the price this Pat McGrath charges for her palettes, I don't really understand because when you look at the ingredients, they are really not great. <laughs> um, so, that really hurts. Like, it's probably to make them so shiny and beautiful and stuff. But, yeah, these are really not good for you. So, I'm actually going to declutter this palette, which is um, the 5, the Bronze Seduction. <laughs> so, I'm going to declutter that. And I have heavily debated keeping this palette. This is the Midnight Sun. I love this palette. I think it's so beautiful. Just the colors in it are so gorgeous. The, um, they're so gorgeous. The textures are really nice, but I just, I know that I'm not really going to want to use this knowing what's in them. Um, so unfortunately I am going to declutter this. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to talk about it anymore, <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to declutter it. Um, next, I'm going to look at the Sigma Untamed palette because this is actually a very similar color scheme to the Midnight uh, Sun palette. And the shimmers in here do not contain talc, uh, which is nice. And I think Sigma does make an effort <laughs> to be a more cleaner brand. Um, and I think I'm going to keep this just for this fall uh, and see how I feel about using it. Uh, because the truth is, like, when it comes to eyeshadows, there's not a ton of... A variety and options available in the clean beauty space. It's something I'm going to explore a little more because I really do love eyeshadow, but I am going to keep this palette for now. Um, and I'm going to see if it causes me irritation and stuff like that. But also I have to remember that I don't really wear eyeshadow every day and 
once in a while I think I might be okay with. I'm not sure. We're going to see. But I am going to keep that for now. Um, these are my mini palettes from Chachi and Nona. We have the Glam, the Zendo, and the Love. Um, I don't really use the Love palette all that often, but I do love the mini Zendo and the mini Glam. Um, I think I'm just going to keep all four of these for the moment. Again, they really don't have the best ingredients. But, um, I think I'm just going to keep hope for now. So, yeah, these, I don't want to talk about it. So, I know this is really confusing, probably, because there, I have a lot of factors <laughs> coming into play here. Um, and, like, I really have to decide what I like and want to use that's, like, worth it to me. Um, so this is the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Palette. Oh, my goodness. Um, the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Palette. Um, hello. Uh, I think this palette's beautiful, but I never use it, as you can tell. It's, like, barely touched, so I'm actually going to declutter this. So that's gonna go. That was not as hard as I was expecting it to be. Um, so it's pretty obvious that I have a lot of Natasha Denona palettes. Like, there, there are many in my collection. Um, I deeply enjoy them. I love them a lot. Um, and here, like literally just sitting here, these are all Natasha Denona. I know you can't really see. Um, all Natasha Denona. And we're gonna have to make some decisions when it comes to this pile. So this is the big green brown palette. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this because I have had it since 2017 and that is not healthy. Um, I have actually switched shades from this palette, the gold palette and the safari palette and my Bebe palette, um, which is a lot, I know, but there's just no way these shadows are good anymore. Like they're just very old. So I am going to declutter this palette. And yes, that does um, hurt my feelings a little bit. Um, this is the Natasha Nona Gold palette, which does have some very beautiful shades in it. Uh, this is just dirty with other shadow on top, don't worry. Um, but I don't know. This isn't that old. Um, I want to say it's probably like encroaching on its life time because it's a um how, what is it two year palette 24 months um I'm gonna keep this for now because I do think this offers something very unique to my collection so this is currently in my key pile we will continue evaluating as we go down to see where we are um in terms of these mini palettes <laughs> so this is my Natasha Denona Safari palette. As you can see, it suffered um, quite the fate with some child's fingerprints um, and nails in it. Um, this palette is probably not quite two years old, maybe two years old. Um, it's really hard because I don't really use this all that much as you can tell like a lot of the shades are barely touched and again I switched out a lot of shades so I don't really know what to do with this like part of me is like keep some of the shades and part of me is like you really don't need them um I'm going to just set that right there for now so this is my old Viva palette um this does have one shade from the gold palette and I know it's this shade right here um, but the rest of these, some come from Safari, some come from the big green brown palette, which you can kind of tell which ones those are because they just look old. Like these shimmers all look just old and like not great. Um, so I'm actually going to declutter this. I'm going to try to figure out which shade this switches with in the gold palette and I'm going to do that. So that's fun. Uh, this is my new fresh Bebo palette which I really love this palette. I like this a lot. Um, I'm going to keep this. I just, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I just want to keep it. Um, okay. So 
the bronze palette. Truthfully, I don't really use this palette as much, but I really love it. Like, I think it's so pretty, but if I'm keeping the Viva and all my other Natasha Denona's, I probably don't need this one. So I'm actually going to declutter the bronze palette. Um, I'm also going to know that I'm going to keep the Glam palette because this is just so unique and fun to me, and I really like it. Um, and I know that it doesn't have the best ingredients in it, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep this one, please. Jones, talk to me too much about it. Um, this is the Zendo palette, and I, I did really like this, um, but I'm going to declutter this as well, just because if I'm having to be really honest about what I'm keeping, um, that's not one that I'm going to want to keep a lot. I'm actually, like, second-guessing the bronze right now. I don't need to keep the bronze. I'll just keep, keep moving on. Uh, the Star palette, this is newer to me. Still, um, and I am actually going to keep this because I really like the palette. It's like super grungy and beautiful. And actually, if I'm keeping that palette, I might not keep the Sigma palette. Um, actually, hmm, what's this five here? Um, I'm going to keep this Sigma palette still for now. Okay. Then we have Natasha Denona Love. Um, this palette is really unique. It is, really. I don't use it that much, but it's really unique. Am I going to keep it? Uh, I think I'm gonna keep it. Don't please don't have me about this. I can't. I really can't. This is really hard for me. I need you all to know. Um, this is the Jomini Cosmetics Latte palette. I am going to declutter this. I do really like it. I've actually purchased it a few times, but uh I'm gonna declutter it. Um let's see, the Metropolis palette. Um, I don't really reach into this that much. I'm gonna declutter this. Um, okay, this is, I wanted one of these for so long. This is the Queen of Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, it's so pretty. Um, I just got it for my birthday, uh, which was in June, so it's been, like, a few months now. But, um, it really hurts me. <laughs> it really hurts me. Um, because I wanted one of her quads for so long, and then I finally got it. And now I just feel like I can't keep, like, very little of my makeup. I don't know, it's so hard. Um, but I'm actually going to declutter this. I don't want to think about it too much. It's like, it just really hurts my feelings. I keep saying that, but it really does. Um, this is the, uh, Supreme Nudes palette from Artist Couture. Sorry, it has the ingredients on the back, which I think is really nice. But as beautiful as this is, um, I think several of the other palettes that I'm keeping are very similar to it. So I'm going to declutter this. But I love it. I love the, like, really slim packaging. Just, like, please, please, please formulate with better ingredients. Please. Um, and then this is the Raw Beauty Christy palette, which I'm really tempted to keep this because it's really beautiful. My husband always compliments my eye makeup when I wear it. Um, and I love the double-sided palette. Um, and I also love that it has the space nail on it. Um, if you've watched me, I lived in the Pacific Northwest for, like, nine years. And we recently moved across the country. And I just love Christy. I love her so much. But um, I'm going to declutter this because if I'm using, like, talc eyeshadows, then I'm, it's probably going to be Natasha Nona, honestly. Um, so we have the gold palette. I'm going to try to switch that one shade back out. I'm not sure what shade it is. <laughs> this is like, this shade looks really dirty on camera, but I swear it's like, doesn't look like that in real life. It's really weird. Um, but I know it's just because I dip my fingers in multiple shades. Um, but, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this one for now. And then this Safari one, I am going to declutter this because I really don't use it. Um, okay. So, as it stands right now, we are keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12. So literally only 12 palettes. These are the ones I'm keeping. 12. And then I'm decluttering. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13. 13 palettes. And I'm keeping, what did I say, 12? 12. Yeah, so that's crazy. It's, like, more than half. Um, I just, I don't know. Like, I think I'm going to probably end up refining this more and more and more over time because the truth is I just really don't use a lot of these palettes. 
And that really, it makes me sad, you know, that they're sitting here and I just don't use them. Um, when I, you know, could be otherwise. And um, as time goes on, I'm going to probably keep refining this situation. So we'll just, just go through these keeping palettes one more time just to make sure I want to keep them all. This is a clean beauty one. I'm going to be keeping this kind of on principle. Um, you know, with this palette, I like it. However, I really never use these colors. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, okay. I'm just going to keep that for now, and then we'll just keep thinking about it. Uh, this is the mini, the mini Zendo, which I really like the mini Zendo. Um, this is the mini Glam. Do I need the mini Glam if I keep the full-size Glam? I don't know. Yes. This is the mini Love, which I'm actually going to declutter this. Um, I just, I know myself, I'm not really going to use it. Um, this is the mini nude. I love this one. Uh, the love palette, I'm like super on the fence about because I really don't wear these colors that much. Honestly, I really don't. So, you know, I'm going to declutter this too as well. Wow, that's crazy. I didn't really see that coming. Um, I still am going to keep the glam. I don't know actually if these have repeating shades in them. Like they kind of, some of them look different. So yeah, we're still gonna keep up with these for the moment, the moment in time. Um, the Sigma palette, yeah, I don't really, I'm not keeping anything else like this. So I'm gonna keep this for the moment. Uh, this is Natasha Denona Biba. Mm. Do you guys know? I really love this palette, like, a lot. Um, so much that I own it twice. So much so. Um, but do we need this, you guys? Do we? Hold on. Alright, this is the Star Palette. Love. I love this palette. And then this is the Gold. Palette. Mmm. Okay. I'm going to lay these all out and we're actually going to take a deeper look at them really quickly. Alright, so I'm sorry if it's a little shaky because I'm just holding you. But uh, these are all the palettes that I was planning to keep. But looking at them laid out, I kind of feel like I don't need the Sigma one. Um, because it's like really similar to the Star palette, I feel. Um, so yeah, I kind of feel like I don't need that. Um, I'm going to get rid of it. I kind of feel like I don't need the gold palette. Um, I don't really wear blue eyeshadow, like, ever. Um, I just don't. So, do I need that? Like, I don't. Because, like, save for these two shades, like, I don't really use a lot of these. Like, I don't feel like I need all three of these palettes. Which is crazy. Like, I'm just sitting here like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? <laughs> um, I'm definitely keeping this one. Um, I also definitely want to keep the Glam palette. I do feel like that brings a special element to my life here. I'm just going to keep these three. But I feel like every shade that's in the Wallace palette is in the Star palette. So I'm going to get rid of that as well. And then... Yeah, I don't know, you guys. I really don't know. I think I might just keep the three of these for now, right? Like, I might just keep the three of them. But I really don't think I need the gold palette. Like, I don't think I'm going to be missing anything if I get rid of the gold. So, yeah, I, I think I'm going to get rid of the gold palette, you guys. Um, That's weird. That's really weird, I admit. Um, but a lot of these shades are like very similar and yeah I think I think I'm just gonna keep Biba and Star and then Glam to me is very different and then this one is my only clean beauty 
um, eyeshadow. Um, yeah, is this it? Is this my eyeshadow palette collection? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven palettes. Seven? Are we sure? Are we really sure? Um, I think so, you guys. I think this is all I'm going to keep, um, which I feel really weird about, but yeah, I think that's it. Um, and I'm decluttering like a lot more. 18. 18 palettes and I'm keeping seven. I like, I actually can't believe it. Um, that's crazy to me. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments because I'm kind of shocked. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts and... Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you again soon. Bye.